Fuck. That's how I start my streams now. Uh, this is Briok, I died of games, and I'm playing more Final Fantasy XI, which should shock no one watching this. I have the mic on too, so that's good. Um, I, um, I'm going to have a short stream tonight. I have uh, not been sleeping well, because I'm playing Final Fantasy XI every night. Let's put our party finder up, and then we're going to start soloing shit while we wait for a group. Alright, so I'm Briok, I died of games, I'm playing Final Fantasy XI. I uh, have had a rough start to this, haven't I? I, um, I had a guy come out for another AC estimate. My air conditioning is still out. And um, I did not care for his estimate one bit. So I've decided who I'm going with. Uh, shocker, it's the cheapest person. But he's also the guy I've been using consistently for maintenance and stuff like that. So I trust him. I think he's going to do a good job. Oh, for fuck's sake. I am having a lot of trouble with these goblins linking, too. I hope I kill them and don't de-level. I did hit level 10 off-stream today. Which is a big, big win for me. Alright. Last night, I think it took me like three hours to get one level. So I wasn't really paying attention. Because everybody comes in and chats to me. You know, if I had zero viewers, I'd be really good at this game. I don't know how people play with a bunch of viewers, you know? It's, uh, it's not stress, but I just, I feel like I have people to talk to, so I don't focus as much. And that's on me, that's not on anybody watching. But uh, I think there's a talent to being able to play a game while talking to people. And do it well. I can do it with a few games. Like, I feel like I'm pretty good at Sekiro. And I can play that while I watch, or people talk to me. I mean, I'm cursing a bit more than usual, but I can still do it. Oh, I have Dia. Fuck. Am I gonna die? No. But I do need to get somewhere safe to rest, so let's move over. Hit level 10 earlier. I've gotta get to 18 on Black Mage so that I can level my White Mage the rest of the way. So that's my goal. I'd like to hit 18 by the end of the weekend. I think I can do it if I get a good group in the dunes. Soloing, maybe not. I don't know that I could solo to 18. I don't think I could do that. We had another uh, follow while I was offline. And that's kind of cool. I really appreciate people doing that. It's nice to log in and have my game up and... Um, you know, see that people are, are following. Oh, shoot. It's add-on load FPS. FPS 1. Done. That's much better. I always forget to do that. Yeah, tonight's going to be a short night, though. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pooped. I've been staying up every night playing this game. And if I'm not playing this game, I'm thinking about this game. You know what I was thinking would be fun, actually? I did not want my stream to be an MMO stream. At all. But now that I'm playing Final Fantasy XI and it's like classic mode, I'd love to play uh, Final Fantasy XIV when the patch comes out. Because there's a new patch coming out next month. 
And then I'd also like to play WoW Classic on stream. I think, you know, the fact that I've been leveling a Final Fantasy character kind of... Just from a natural progression, once I, I got through the end game of this, I actually moved right into WoW. I think it'd be cool to do that on stream too. Here we go, Goblin Fisher. These guys drop those uh, fishing rods and they sell for a bit, apparently. Which I did not know. That clothes pole sells for like two, two grand, 2k. And they give okay experience. You know, 42 a kill is still pretty good for level 10. I mean, for solo, anyway. Later in the game, black mages can solo everything. Like, you can bind shit and, like, one-shot it with freeze. I remember groups doing that. They'd have nuke parties where it'd be, like, four black mages and a bard and then a healer. Alright. I met my steps goal for the day, guys. Kill some more goblins. There's one down here. You know, we could do bind. Let's try that. Let's try binding it and just seeing if we can wreck it before it comes out of bind. It might take more mana, but it would be safer. Okay, now I'm not even targeting it. What a waste! That's pretty good. I, I mean, I use all of my MP, so... I'll have to heal more often. But that was okay. Pretty quick kill. Not enough MP. Um, this is the most I've streamed in a row today. I, cause I, I cut back on my hours when I first started for the first like 60 days. I did every single night. And I was getting really burnt out streaming. Because it's kind of hard to come on here and just talk for two, three, four hours. I don't know how people do that. I can't do it. I don't have that much to say. Um, so I cut back to just a couple days a week. And it's it's been progressively easier and better to stream. Better for me, anyway. Um, but this is, I think, like night five in a row. I did Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday. So, as much as I'm having fun streaming, I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'll have to think about it. It does get a lot easier, though, when people come in and just chat and they're talking. You know, you're not just talking to yourself. tell you, the nights you're talking to yourself, uh, <laughs> they can get pretty long. 
That's why people go crazy, though, isn't it? Oh, I'm tired, too. This is going to be the picture that shows up for my stream. It's me yawning. <sighs> Resisted blind. What a bitch. What a bitch. Super low and he didn't kill himself. What an asshole. Alright, so this is the part I've been having problems with. I keep trying to pull these three and they keep linking, so let's just not do that. We'll kill the river, river, river crab. River crab is gonna die. Dead. In 60 FPS. Alright. We're gonna rest up. Hopefully we can get a group. If we can get a group, it'll go a lot faster. Solo playing in this game can take quite a while. We can do a quick search. Let's see who all there is. 10 to, uh, I don't know, 13. Oh, that guy's in conch chat. That guy's in Selvina. But I'm pretty sure that guy's a, got a power leveler. Uh, let's, let's message him anyway. I don't think that guy actually has a group. I think he's a power level. He's got a power level with him because I saw him in Westron for yesterday. This has so many people. Like, look, there's 79 people, and I can only show a couple, and I don't know how to get to the second screen. Is there a way to do that to show more? Uh, I guess by area. Yeah, there's Melon. Alright, well there's a couple of groups. Let's let's message these guys. Mela just said in Link Shell he's busy, he's got a full group, so. Alright. So I messaged the two groups that seem to exist in the dunes. Hey Skyrim, how's it going? Having a good day? Is tonight one of your streaming nights or is it tomorrow? I thought you were a Thursday person. I might have your schedule wrong. I know you stream a little later than me. You got the itch? Got the itch to stream tonight? Or you can't do it? Oh, it's Canada Day! Happy Canada Day!
I didn't even think about that. Nice. That's great that you got it working. So are you just off today, or do they give you off tomorrow, too? Not yet. I, for one, am looking forward to a short stream tonight. I, um, I'm just a bit tired. I've been staying up late, and I've been playing Final Fantasy XI, uh, even beyond what's on stream. Um... And I haven't been sleeping well because our AC broke, so I think I'm going to cut out promptly at 10 o'clock tonight and just have a shorter stream. 10, 10 Eastern. But, um, I don't know, we'll see. I was just saying before you came in, that I, you know, I'm talking to myself, but um, when you guys start to join the stream and I get people to talk to, it just pumps me up and I get really excited about streaming. Like last night, I think I went to like 10:30 or almost 11, right? And I didn't, I didn't want to stop. I could have gone for another two hours, but I had work this morning. So it's kind of, it's cool that people like show up to talk to me and all. But on this, on the same token, I've got to do a better job of sticking to my schedule because I get completely wiped out if I don't. Since my wife isn't here this week, I've been streaming every night too. So I've streamed five days in a row as of tonight. And um, normally I'm doing just like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sunday. So it's four days instead for the whole week. Why did you get into streaming? I just want to ask, but uh, I'm, there's no real non-awkward way to say that because I just said it completely awkwardly. What made you get into streaming, though? Why did you want to be in front of all of these people? I, um, that's true. I guess that's a good reason. I'm not at all. Um, that, you know, I started for a real simple reason. I was playing video games every night anyway and watching people on Twitch, and my wife's like, you play video games every night, why don't you just be on Twitch? And I said, geez, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Didn't think about the performance part of it or that you have to, like, engage and, you know, talk to people. So, uh, that was a weird, like, adjustment for me. I felt really awkward the first couple nights I was streaming. Like, if you were to watch those first couple nights, I didn't have a nice mic yet, so you could barely hear me. And, um, <laughs> I'm just literally sitting there talking to myself. Hey, Ace, thanks for joining. Uh, yeah, I like Twitch. I like it a lot. I'm having fun with it. I haven't even done 90 full days yet, so I haven't been doing it very long, but I am in having a lot of fun with it. You know what I like is that I can play a variety of games and there's always somebody who's interested in it to talk to. Um, like, I've played the, just a, such a random variety of games that I own, and I have fun playing them, but it's more fun when you have somebody who's excited about that game. Um... I'm playing Final Fantasy XI right now. There's a lot of people playing that right now, which is great, because it's a great game. But, I mean, when I play Dark Souls, immediately, like, five people jump into the channel wanting to talk about Dark Souls. I played Sonic the Hedgehog. There were people coming in to talk to me about Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, there's always somebody interested in whatever game you're playing, and that's what I love about it. And I get psyched about talking about these games, because I'm, I'm a big fan. Like, I'm a big fan of all these games, or I wouldn't have bought them. So, yeah, I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Enjoying it. I look like a moron because I can't speak, but I, I am having fun with it. Not as big a fan of Streamlabs, though. 
I'm being honest. I've had a, a couple of issues with it recently. Might have to look at a new broadcasting tool. Skyrim, do you use uh, Streamlabs or do you use something else? Skyrim, there's a chick that I watch on... Is chick okay? Can I say that? Is that sexist? Anyway, there's a chick I watch on uh, Twitch sometimes, and she just goes around ph photographing Skyrim. That's her whole thing. It wasn't you either. Like, there's another person who does that. So I didn't realize that was such a popular art form. But I think that's really cool. Uh, good question. I don't watch her enough to remember her name, apparently. I sh when I say sometimes, it's probably been, like, six months since I've watched her. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Let's see if I can find her name. Let me get back to you on that, because she's not online right now. And I have a lot of people that I follow, and I don't remember her name. I'm just scrolling through. Let me see if I can find it. Again, riveting TV here. Watching me stream through... Uh, I think is it is it no that's that's not her is it? I'm gonna have to find it for you because I don't remember who it was. It's one of these two people and I can't remember which one and I don't want to click on their channel right now. Um, yeah, well, I mean the. The Streamlabs okay. Like I've set up the the mods and I've set up um, some of the crossover stuff that you can do. Like I I export every single one of my streams to uh, to YouTube. Um, so I've got that all set up and squared away. But I don't know. Like I did that giveaway the other night, and um, I had trouble getting that to work. It was supposed to be like one click and work, and it it wasn't working. And then, um, I don't know, the other part of it, I guess, that I don't like as much is that it takes away time for my wife. Um, but honestly, she doesn't stay up very late anyway. And Discord. Discord's a problem for me. I have a lot of issues with Discord. Uh, I got fucking poisoned. Status effects are no joke in this game. That poison is going to stay on for another two minutes. And I'm going to die. I liked Ace King's question, though, because there's a guy I watch every, uh, every Sunday morning. He's an Australian guy, and he streams RPGs and, like, retro games. But he was streaming uh, Secret of Mana for, like, he only streams Sunday mornings. Uh, and he was streaming Secret of Mana for like two and a half months, three months, and he was trying to play it through the whole way with one character. So he was killing off like the main guy in the sprite. I don't know if you've ever played Secret of Mana, but he was playing as the girl. And I thought that was such a cool and innovative idea. I've never seen anybody do that before. And he did it. He cleared through the whole game with just her. Um, it was really fun to watch, but like, I found him, like, he had, like, three viewers, and I found him playing that because I was interested in watching Secret of Mana. Like, there's always something for you to watch or somebody for you to watch who, like, is playing something you're interested in. And, you know, there's personalities and stuff that you just click with and you like. But I, I just think it's cool that so many people are, you know, showing that they're interested in the same things. You get more of a community feel than watching TV, you know? And Ace Kings, by the way, I don't know if you're following, feel free to hit the follow button 
and I will also talk about you. I don't know what that means. Just, just hit the follow button. Just do it! Or don't. I don't, I don't care. I've got a bunch of followers, I guess. I just need those followers to come back. Yeah, this is online. So the one I'm playing is, um, there's, there's a retail version of Final Fantasy XI, which still has, like, 960,000 players. And there's the private server that I'm playing on. So what I'm playing on right now is a private server with a, it's like classic FF11. It's got, uh, the, um, a level 75 cap. The retail's at 99. And it only has, uh, two and a half of the, uh, expansions included. But you can download the private server and play this for free. You don't have to pay for the subscription of the main game to do it. I did play the retail version, uh, when it first came out through, like, 2005 when WoW came out, and then I played, um, like, every couple of years I installed and played again. So last year I actually played it, and I played all the way to 99, and I did all of the, uh, the stuff I had missed in the couple of years in between. It's, the community in this game is amazing. I, I don't know if you've been on when I've said that before, but I don't think I've ever played a multiplayer game with as nice of people as who play this game. The people who play it love the game. They want people to, to enjoy it. I saw a guy shouting a question in the starting area, and uh, he was asking where to turn in. They give you this adventurer coupon that gives you 50 gil, which is the currency. That's nothing. 50 doesn't get you anything. And he was asking where to turn it in, and somebody's like, come give it to me and I'll give you 10,000. Like, just to start him off at level 1, they were giving him money for the adventure. It was super cool. It was really nice. But, like, if you have questions, people are willing to answer it. You know, they're willing to include you and stuff. It's just such a good community. I've played WoW. I've played Final Fantasy XIV. I've played ESO. I've played a ton of games in between. Lord of the uh, Rings Online, uh, Vanguard, Saga of Heroes. Played a little EverQuest 2. Played League of Legends, played, you know, I played Call of Duty, I played all of these games that are multiplayer, and this is the only one that I can honestly say has an amazing community. Final Fantasy XIV is close, but a lot of people who used to play WoW came over and it just ruined the, the social at atmosphere. There's still a lot of nice people in that game, but it's just not the same. But, Skyrim, if you're interested in an MMO, I would highly recommend getting on Nosomi. That's, you can go to their website, and there's a uh, download of the game. And giving it a shot, it's, it's a super fun game. It's multiplayer. It's free at the moment uh, because it's not retail. And, um, it also runs on older machines. Like, my machine, my PC is pretty good. I can play most everything. Uh, but my wife can't. It's Nosomi Final Fantasy XI. It's actually the subject of my uh, stream. So that's how it's spelled. But you can install it in probably, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. And then... Um, yeah, please let me know. And, you know, you can join our link shell and stuff. It's... Uh, it's a good group of people. It's a lot of people who are watching the streamer Faros play. He's playing. He plays Final Fantasy XIV mostly, but he started this Link Shell. Link Shell is like a guild from WoW, so you have a bunch of people to talk to and play with. But I think we have something like sixty-five people in our Link Shell who just started up in the last two weeks. So it's a lot of new members or people who have never played before who are coming in. There's some people who played before, but for the most part, it's not. I've been trying to convince everybody who's in my stream to, to come play it, though. I just think it's so much fun to play. It's very slow, though. I mean, um, you know, from, like, a, 
an Elder Scrolls perspective, when you're used to like hacking and slashing everything to death pretty quickly, you're not going to feel that way in this game. There's an NM in this game that literally took people like 48 hours to kill the first time because they didn't know what they were doing. It's just a very slow paced game comparatively. I've been leveling for the last three days on stream, this Black Mage, and I just hit level 10. The cap's 75. So it, it's not a quick turnaround on investment, but it is a fun investment. It's fun to play. But they have a whole bunch of different jobs you can play as. You can be, um, I'm gonna go a Beastmaster where I can control Beast. Um, but they have warriors and paladins who are tanks. They've got monks who are DPS with their fists. They've got white mages who heal, black mages who DPS. They've got um, all the classic Final Fantasy jobs exist in this game. It's, it's great. It's a load of fun. See if we can get that goblin over here killed again. I'm trying to kill the fishers because they drop these fishing rods. And they drop one fishing rod that sells for a bit. That's what I want to find. And I've gotten a couple off of them. So, th that's a good question. Um, it's solo until like level 11, and then you start to group up. You are going to have to group with people at some point. You're just going to have to. It's, it's too slow and painful if you don't. But there are classes that are better at soloing after you unlock them. So the Beastmaster class that I want to play... Here, I'll actually explain it. So these are the starting classes. These are the ones you can pick right out of the gate. And you can play as a Warrior, Monk, White Mage, Black Mage, Red Mage, Thief. Hold on, let me rest and I'll show you the rest. So you know, when you start the game, you have just your main class. So I picked White Mage. Well... Once you get to level 18, you can unlock what they call a subclass. And you uh, have to level up the subclass, but it gives you additional passive abilities and stats. So, for instance, I'm now leveling Black Mage, and I'm using that White Mage that I leveled to 18 as my subclass. So, now if I go into my abilities, I still only have one Black Mage ability, but I have a oh, Magic Attack bonus. Alright, well, never mind, that was a bad example. But... Uh, I do have white mage magic that I can use too. So even though I'm a black mage, I can use white magic up to half of my current level. And then you have classes like the Beastmaster where they can control beast, and you can literally solo with that. So there's jobs that you can solo as, and there's some that you can't. I'm sorry, Skyrim, I thought you wanted a tutorial. I was giving you the, the whole landscape of how to play the game. But... What's cool is you can like ex you can experiment with it, you know? Like you could play as a thief with a warrior sub, but you could also get some other jobs later like ninja that maybe have a little more evasiveness that better fit with thief, but you still have that option of being a, a warrior sub. I I'm just a big fan of Final Fantasy, so for me this is an awesome combination of game plays between this, you know, like the fact that they have all the classes and they all kind of fit with the lore of the other Final Fantasies. I just think it's great. But it's not for everybody, for sure. But since it doesn't cost anything to try on the private server, you can try it out and see if you like it. And if you don't, just delete it. Um, when I first bought the game, I actually hated it. But I bought it at retail price. And my wife, who I was dating at the time, she said, uh, you know, you should... Um, you should go ahead and give it a try. You already spent the money. You get 30 days free. Just go ahead and play through a little more. And uh, I did, and I was hooked. I just couldn't stop. After I got in a party and I got to experience like playing with other people, I was done. I was ready to play for the next five years. But not everybody's into multiplayer games either. All right, Goblin. Time to die. No, no clothesline. We need to get that clothes pole so we can sell another fishing line. Mm. 
This is my first one. This is my first MMO. I mean, this came out before WoW, and um, it's it's a good intro into MMOs from my perspective. But uh, it's way harder to play than WoW. Like WoW turned MMOs into like a graphical interface and you know a more cartoony game style. And I don't want to say WoW was easy when it came out because it was definitely there were challenges to it, but. Um, this is just a very different MMO than, than WoW is, World of Warcraft is. Or any any MMO sense. Like, WoW really set the standard for how an MMO needs to be made. But I think that there's a certain charm about this game. Oh, shit, I sat up by accident. I was typing into my link shell. I'm trying to find a group so I can level a little faster. Let me message this guy. I don't know if he saw me. I hope I can get in the group, though, because showing off that content would be cool. Alright, I got all my mana. Let's go kill more. He said no. Damn it. They keep interrupting. You fishing rod, all right. All right, I've only got one more inventory slot, so we'll kill a couple more of these and we might have to go get rid of some of our inventory. Oh, I can use bio now, too. Alright, that clears up two inventory spots. Oh, they have bards who sing, too. You could be a bard. That would be pretty cool, Skyrim. That would fit right up your alley. The bard class is actually the best in the game. Yeah, like Edward, that's right. Oh, I forgot you played FF4. Yeah, just like Edward. Um, yeah, except they don't, like, hide and run away constantly. They're useful. Yeah, the bards are seriously one of the best in the game. They they give buffs and uh, debuff mobs, so they're super strong. Um, but if you're a bard in this game, you basically are guaranteed a group. It's like a non-question. This is the worst part about the game to me. It's the resting. You have to rest to get your mana and health back. Which they did away with with uh, future MMOs. Because you just auto re you auto regenerate as you walk around. And it didn't exist in this one.
we'll use bio. Boom. I like that spell because in Final Fantasy IV it was the one I used on everybody with Rydia. Like when you get virus. Virus was like a mistranslation, I think, because it turned into bio in later games. Uh, but it, I just think it looks just like in Final Fantasy IV. Like, I love how it looks in this game. Like, that's just what I think it would look like. It's so good. do one more and then we'll rest. Oh, oh. I aggroed one. Damn it. go. Alright, let's go rest up. Oh, 10 to 11 is a rough level, man, because it's right before you go do group content. And, um, it's very slow. <laughs> like, each mob is only giving me, like, 3640 experience. And I need another 1600. Another 1600. Xantar caught a moat cart. If I can get to 11, I can definitely get a group in the dunes. Level 10 is a little bit low. I'm also not in great gear. My equipment's the original level 1 equipment, so it kind of sucks when I get to groups. They're like, what are you wearing? You're trash. We don't like you. You smell like trash. And you're a panda! A raccoon panda. Go kill more goblins. No, use Dia. down. Let's go kill one more. Should have enough mana now. One step closer. This is going way better than last night, though. I must have died like six times last night. For every like three mobs I killed, I would die. The problem with dying is you lose experience in this game, if you die. It can be a bit disheartening when you die in this game. I watched a guy the other day literally die in front of me and de-level, and he went down a level. But, you know, it's just part of it. 
get used to it, but it's also disheartening. Alright. I haven't gotten a clothes pole yet, so I guess we'll just have to go sell all this stuff. I wonder if anything on the auction house is sold. I was working on woodworking. Um, as far as my craft goes. I think I might switch to uh, cooking, though. Because if I am playing a, a Beastmaster, the cooking would be way more beneficial for me. You can um, make your own beast jugs, which allow you to summon a beast. On the flip side, woodworking has those staves, and they sell for a pretty penny. The jugs might sell too, though. I don't know how many uh, Beastmasters there are on the server. Actually, look. I don't see anybody. Jeez, let's do a more detailed search at the next rest. There's got to be a Beastmaster on the server. I can't be the only person interested in that class. A lot of people remember the Beastmaster as a kind of shitty class. Because one, you just had to solo because your beast would leech experience. And apparently on this server they've changed that where they don't leech experience. So you can play with a beast out and it doesn't harm anybody's experience game. I haven't tried that, so I don't know for sure. But because of that, not a lot of people had a good experience with Beastmaster back in the day. When I played retail, I played uh, a Beastmaster up to level 99, and I had a lot of fun with it, so I think it'd be cool to play it again. But it requires me to have a couple of sub-jobs, so I'm going to have to level a few different things to 37. Yeah, I like the movie where the guy, like, gets naked and runs with tigers. You know the movie I'm talking about, right? It's on Amazon Prime. If you haven't seen Beastmaster, go watch it. It's really great. As far as 80s action films go. It came out right about the same time as Conan the Barbarian. And uh, they got a less beefy guy to play the Beastmaster in it. Um, it's still a good movie. I, you just can't watch it with the kids. But Beastmaster as a class is pretty cool. It's, um... Uh, let's see, that's that's not what I wanted to open. I was going to pull up an image of it, but... There we go. So, there's some artwork. Oh, somebody did art of it? That's cool. That's, for the, that's on the wiki. But they get to control these pets. And there's not much here, is there? Anyway, I don't know if there was a Beastmaster class in other games. They had tamers. Um, which used witch whips and stuff. But these guys are, like, completely different. You get, uh, you get to summon these jugs. They have carrying cases. Yeah, I know. I know you haven't played Eleven, but... It was, uh... For me, it was still... Is my game crashing? Why is this... My bar is showing at the bottom. Hold on, let me try to unshare for a second. I gotta fix my bar. I think my Windows Explorer is crashing. I just got a big error message. I hope this doesn't end my stream. We'll find out in a second. If I do crash, I'll come right back. I just have to. I just got a huge Windows error, and I don't know what's going on. Mm. Nope, nope. My game crashed. All right. Well, if, at least it was only the game and not the stream, right?
Oh, don't worry about it, Skyrim. I'll probably come check you out tonight if I don't immediately go to sleep. It's so loud. It's so loud. The intro, I can't get the sound fixed. It's deafening. It's okay. Hold on, I gotta turn this down. I gotta turn it. I turned it down for you. I gotta turn it down for me. I, I am uh, I'm having an issue getting back in the the server. I think it didn't log me out properly, so I'm probably just stuck here. Yeah, Rydia uses a whip. She was... Well, originally, though... So, in Final Fantasy IV, they had the summoner who used the whip. And then, eventually, it broke off to be a tamer. So, in Final Fantasy V, there's, like... It's not called Beastmaster, but it's a tamer class. And it's not the same as the summoner class. So, that's where they officially split it off. I'm gonna just restart one more time. I don't know what's going on with my game here. I shouldn't have tried to look at a browser, I guess. This might be the end of my night if I can't get back on. Alright, let's try one more time. There we go. Yeah, that was weird. It's definitely my fault for getting disconnected, but... Let's see. Alright. Let's kill more goblins. Oh, and I can turn the sound back up, can't I? do that real quick so I can hear. I actually really like the music for the game. So, uh, the music alone makes me pretty nostalgic because I spent a lot of time in Western Ronfar when I was playing. What are you preparing, Skyrim? Do you, have, you get like a character already? Because I thought you had a, a Khajiit already. Or a, not a Khajiit. You had the lizard. Argonian. Hey, Sergeant Ness. Music's great. The only place I've not had the music playing con constantly is in the dunes. Because all you get is the fight music. Uh, but some of the best music in the series is in this game. Like, I love the Sanctuary of Zeta music. I think that's great. I think Ronfar's music's awesome. I don't ever get tired of it. Out of mana again. Welcome to Black Mage, where you can't have mana. 
Anyway, I just got disconnected a minute ago because I decided to look outside of the game at Beastmaster pictures, so that's my bad. That's my bad. We won't do that again. We'll stay in the game. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Let's look by job. And Beastmaster. Okay, what about... That's by area. Alright, so... There's actually... There's a lot of Beastmasters. I mean, 16. That's not actually a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to go Beastmaster. I was between that and Dragoon. So I'm leveling... The reason I'm leveling Black Mage is so that I can get my white mage up to 37 all the way. So I'm getting black mage to 18. Then I'm going to level white mage to 37. And then I'm going to open and unlock Beastmaster and do Beastmaster white mage. Um, I'm also going to have to level ninja to 37, so I can use that as a sub for Beastmaster. Um, but I think initially at least I'll be okay with white mage. Um, but I found out on this server in Nisomi they don't actually leech experience when they have pets out. So you can play a Beastmaster in a party and be completely fine. So they changed that from the vanilla, the classic uh, Final Fantasy XI. I played on retail, I played uh, Beastmaster a bit though, uh, when I got up to 99. So I'm actually really looking forward to it because I've never been able to play as a Beastmaster in a party before. I mean, outside of raids and stuff. Alright, I just asked if I could be in a group. Let's find out. Let's find out. I've been told I'm too low at level 10 already tonight, so hopefully I can get into a group. Yeah, but I, I played Red Mage back in the day, so I, um, I just wanted to do something different this time around. And um, I, felt, I felt like Beastmaster was a good choice, because if I can't get a group, I can still go solo. Uh, and the same for Dragoon. I was thinking that I could just go solo if I wanted to. Okay. I don't know if I'm getting invited to that group, but I did say I was available, so we'll see. Sergeant Ness, what are you going to play as? Are you playing? And if so, what as? I don't know everybody's name in our link shell, so if you're in my link shell, I don't I don't know who you are. I've had a couple people come in and be like, I'm this guy, and I'm like, oh, okay. Alright. But nobody's name matches up to their Twitch name. Skyrim, I, I appreciate you saying that. You know what? This is what I'm talking about with Streamlabs. I've had both of you say stuff in chat in the last two minutes. My viewers have gone between zero and one for the last two minutes. So if something's up with Streamlabs, it's not very good. I don't know if Twitch is better about like calculating viewership and stuff, but Streamlab is completely off. not accurate at all. As long as it shows up okay on Twitch, I'm alright with that. Because I, um... I just need to know that the viewer count in Twitch is coming up okay, because I'm trying to hit that average of three for the affiliate. But it's wild, because, like, some nights I'll have, like, 18 people in here, and Streamlabs is like, you have three people. Like, Saturday night, I think I had... Friday or Saturday night, I had, like, 18 people in at one point. And uh, it was literally telling me I had three people. And they were all chatting. Like, it's not like I was like, I have 18 people, guys. And I, I literally could go look at the chat, and there were 18 people in there. At least 15 chatting. I wish there was a better option, you know? 
uh, OBS is okay, but it, I mean, Streamlabs has a lot on it. It's, you know, pretty well hooked up to everything. No, I know, but I mean, I know who the, the Lurk bots are, too. Like, I've got uh, Inventken Lurks, Mind of Lurk, Universe. I know those are all Lurk bots. Um, but, yeah, it's, still, they base, if they're basing affiliate and partnership on those stats, they should be appropriate stats, is all. But I don't know how it connects Streamlabs to Twitch and, and what that means, so... I'm just bitching about something that doesn't matter at all right now, but it's... You know what bothers me? Uh, and I was thinking about this the other night. I would still be streaming either way. But the fact that they don't allow you to get subscriptions or to make money through Twitch unless you hit affiliate, is it kind of ridiculous? Like, what other... What other company makes you work for free, basically? Like, if you're an indep independent contractor using somebody else's system, like Uber, you get paid. But Twitch somehow gets around that. As much as I love Twitch, I just think it's a weird... It's a weird setup. If I hired somebody to be on a TV commercial, they would get paid for that day. You know, it doesn't matter if... If anything is sold based on that commercial, they still get paid. I used to work for a TV studio, so I'm... I'm just very cognizant of like how the uh, the talent gets paid. We actually hired musicians too when when I was there. They made all the music from scratch for their TV shows. Uh, less than three months. I I mean I streamed here and there like two years ago, but like on a serious schedule like I am now, it's been. I think this is episode eighty-eight. I think this weekend I hit 90, so it's been a very short amount of time. And that's why I was saying my, my complaints are minor and don't really matter. Like, I have nothing to complain about. messaging everybody I can to get a group, so we'll see if I get one tonight. I may not and just have to... I'm calling it a short stream. I might just call it a short night on this, too. You know what I watched on TV the other day, uh, which I haven't watched in a while? Um, I pulled up uh, The Office, which I fucking love. I absolutely love it. But um, I watched The Office the other day, and uh, it was, what was the episode? It was the one where Dwight gets made the manager because Michael decides he's quitting. It was like season two, and Jim had just gone to the new, oh, maybe it was season four, because Jim had gone to the new office up in Ithaca, season three or four, where he, when he does it. And they were all playing Call of Duty on the, the work computers. It was awesome. That was such a good show. Oh. I'm out of inventory space. How do I cast lots on stuff? I just want to see what's there. Alright, well, we've got to go sell some stuff, so I think we're done for right now with... i got to go sell some stuff and we'll have to come back.
Let's see this. We'll warp back. Hopefully it's the right city. <laughs> oh, I'm not worried about it, Skyrim. Like I said, I would do it anyway. I was ha I've been having a lot of fun with this. And I don't I don't say that lightly. Like This is one of those things where I I only did it because of my wife's suggestion. And just, you know, trying to do something different. Um, but the fact that I am actually having fun with it is really cool. Like, it's cool that I can get on and talk to people from all over the place. I had a guy from the UK who on Friday nights was watching me play Alien Isolation. He was totally into that game and he was just jumping on to watch me. That was awesome. She wasn't selling what I wanted, or letting me sell to her. Alright, we're gonna sell these fishing rods. I'll talk to you later. Have a good stream, okay? None of my stuff sold. All right, I have a feeling that the rusty bucket is not going to sell, so I'm going to just pull that off. Those are going to sell. They just sell slowly. And I know this will sell at 600 eventually. We'll leave that there. And we'll put this up. 3,000. Man. I need to sell... What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can do that. Let's try again. Alright, there we go. And let's go drop some stuff off at the uh, Mog House. And then we'll go level more. I can probably buy some gear, too. We'll look at that. See what I can get. I need to get a fire scroll as well. Let me see where we're going to sold. Fire is sold. Port Sandoria with Regine. So that's where we're going to go. I bet there's some other spells we can get to. Here. We had everything but crystals in here. Alright, that's good. And then the crystals we'll put in this other one. remember where I put it. Was it Satchel? Yeah. Alright. It gives me some inventory space. A little bit of inventory space. Alright, 
Let's see. I think I just need fire. I mean, I'll have to buy some stuff as I get a little higher level, but I'm not planning on going past 18, so... I think that's going to be it. And let's just check the AH on the way out of town. Maybe there's some more gear I can buy. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So how do I pronounce that? Vera Lai? Vera Lai? Is that right? Vera Lai. V relay. Is it because you had so many stalkers on your page? Uh, I get it. No, that's fine. That's cool. I changed mine not too long ago too. V relay. All right. I'm gonna have to practice that because I'm gonna get it wrong for the next week. How was your day today? I'm going to get it. I promise. Uh, it was okay. Yeah, I got a third estimate, and it was crap. So um, that's okay. It's not... We, we figured out who we're going to spend money with now. Um, so it's just a matter of having him come out to do the work now. Uh, so I called him up and tried to get him to come out as soon as possible. He's going to check and see if he can get out here this weekend. Which would be rad. I would love to have air conditioning this weekend. This window unit is so loud. Well, it's just they're expensive. You know, I mean, like, I know it costs money to get a new air conditioning unit, but if I lived in, like, 48 other states, it would be cheaper. And I think that's why I'm so frustrated with it, is just where we live is such an expensive area of the country. Um, but it's it's not a big deal. I mean, we'll, we'll make do. I need to get one of those for my white mage.
Thanks for asking, though. We're, um... We will have AC in the next week. That's all I know. I just don't know exactly when. Um, and I actually looked at refinancing my house today, too. Um, they're gonna give me a smaller mortgage payment for fewer years. Um, and they're gonna give me, like, $30,000. So, that that's awesome. I guess the price of our house is like skyrocketed since we moved in. So um, I'm going to get a roof. I'm going to get the AC. I'm going to get maybe a new bathroom out of it. Yeah, it's huge. Um, but I have to fill out a bunch of paperwork to make it happen. So I'm going to do that on Friday when I'm off work. It, You know, the only thing that sucks is it's not like I, we're keeping the money. Like we're putting it directly into improvements for the house. Um, we don't have to do that, but we're choosing to because I want to make sure that the house is, one, we're enjoying it while we live here, but two, that it's in a pretty good condition if we try to sell it. Um, so yeah, it's, it was pretty good news. I don't know what we'll end up doing with the money, but um, I know for a fact that the AC is one of those things. So, All in all, it was a good day, though. I'm exhausted, though. I... I... I I've been streaming a little bit later than usual, and then I'm staying up past that because I get so excited. You know, we've had such a good couple of days, and uh, the adrenaline's going, and I just can't fall asleep. So I think tonight I'm going to call it an early night. Um, you know, quit a little bit early, get some rest, take tomorrow off, and then we'll come back on Friday. Are you doing anything this weekend? I know most of the fireworks were shut down, but are you going to do anything? V relay. Hmm. I'm going to have trouble remembering that. I'm going to have trouble remembering that. When I saw it, I knew who you were because of the, the mod icon. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I can't pronounce that at all. <laughs> Where did you get the name from, though? Where did you decide to make it from? Oh, yeah, you told me you were moving. So it's that soon, huh? I hate moving. I hate it so much. You should live stream your move. You'll have like 50 people watching. Okay, cool. You know, it's wild how, how connected we feel to those gamer tags. Because Brioc is what I went by in Final Fantasy XI originally, and then what I used in WoW forever. So Brioc is just like, it's... I've gone by Brioc in games and with people I play games with for like the last 20 years. It's weird, like, I've got my name, and then I've got Brioc. And if people called me Brioc, I would answer to it. Oh, it's a music term, okay. I did not know that. Well, you gotta get what you can get. The servers don't allow it. I think that's great, though. As long as it means something to you. Oh, well, if they're not active, it's yours to take. You should start streaming. I bet people who used to watch that person would come in and watch you. They'd be like, are you the, the same person? I'm like, no, do I look like the same fucking person? You can see my face. People are idiots. I think that'd be funny. I might take off from running tomorrow, too. I don't know if I can get up and run at 6 tomorrow. Not that I need your permission on that, but it would be great if I had some permission not to run for a day. 
I did. I had a steak for dinner though, so that was yummy. I'm having salmon tomorrow. Um, you know, it's I've been eating kind of crappy for the last few days. I think I told you I ordered a cheesesteak and. I just, I need to eat some good food this week. Well, the steak was okay, too. Like, just, I, that's literally all I had, too. I didn't have any side items or anything with it. I didn't have, uh, any time to cook anything up, because the, uh... The guy was giving me the estimate was coming. You son of a bitch. Keeps interrupting me. Yeah, I have a I have a pretty good feeling that uh tomorrow I'll take off streaming. When Friday, I'll do it again on schedule, and then I'll be back on schedule. Uh, I may do it Saturday, too. I don't know. We'll see. I've enjoyed having, like, the back-to-back -back streams, but it is, it's getting to that point where I'm getting tired. I don't know how people do it every day. I was, I was talking to Skyrim about that earlier, because there's people who stream every single day, and they stream for hours each day, and... I guess if it, that was my job and that's all I did, it would be fine. But I just think it's it's a bit of a challenge for me to get on and talk for two to three hours every night. I, I mean, we've had the last couple of streams have been good. They've been fun. I've enjoyed them, but I just I'd like to have some content to talk about instead of just whatever's running through my mind. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's draining for me. I'm not that kind of person. And that's actually the reason I stopped doing daily streams. I started having a schedule is because I was just getting exhausted from talking for three hours every single night. You know, it, it helps when there's a lot of people in chat. Like when we've had the group talking back and forth, it doesn't feel like work. But it's still, you know, there's still a lot of mental work that all of us are doing when we're talking and, you know, going back and forth like that, so... I think, uh, I think the four days a week is good. I think I'm okay with that. I'm just passing everything instead of killing it. I think I'd be a much better game player if I wasn't talking constantly. <laughs> I can't concentrate. <laughs> I have, like, ADHD or something. I just literally, like, oh, let's talk about this, and I'll just run around in circles. You know what I was thinking would be fun? And I don't think people would watch me do this. But since I've been playing Final Fantasy XI, I actually kind of want to go back now and play WoW Classic. Which is really stupid, right? Like, how many people are streaming WoW every night? That's the thing about the board game, though. The, like, that idea, I think we could actually do, number one. But number two... I feel like I could just be on just chatting and talking about random shit like that, and that would be easier than me playing a game and talking. Because when I'm playing a game, I really need to focus, and I can't focus on chat, and I can't have conversations with you guys if I'm just, like, focused on a game. I don't know how people do it. I think it's, it's a real skill. Like, the people who are good at it and are streaming, they deserve all the credit in the world. Because for me, it's not something that comes very easily. And I'm sure part of that's practice, because they do it every day. I'm guessing it's practice. But anyway, playing uh, Final Fantasy Classic here has made me want to play WoW Classic a little bit. I just don't know that... I don't know. I didn't think people would watch me play Final Fantasy XI either, so maybe they'd watch that. I could get on my level 20 paladin and, uh, you know, do some, uh, 
do some shitty low instance runs as a paladin tank. I don't even know if I was 20 when I logged off at the Classic WoW. One thousand more experience. You streamed on Discord? That's exciting. I didn't get a notice. Nobody invited me to that stream. But yeah, it is. It's hard because I have two monitors. So the game's up here and then the chat's over here. And it's hard for me to, uh, to read what people are saying because I always have to look left and talk to the camera and watch the game. Uh, v, I'm just gonna say V. V, that's exactly what I've been doing for the last two nights, is YouTube videos. I'm interested in YouTube videos. I get on board with that. It's really hard not to call people by names that I know them as now. Like, I was telling you, I have that uh, buddy Zeph, Zephyril, who comes in here. Zephyri. And I know his real name. And the first time he came into my stream, I almost, like, outed his real name. And I don't want to do that to anybody, you know? Like, nobody knows my real name. Everybody's got a screen name for a reason, you know? There's some on anonymous action that you're taking here on the internet, you know? You don't want every creep to know who you are and where you live and all that. Yeah, but that's that's your choice. Like if somebody's like, "What happened to Pager?" You can you can tell them, but it's not it's not my call. I I just don't want to be that guy. It's like, you know, It's not, it's not my call. It's a silly thing. Like, it doesn't... It's not that big of a deal. Like, I know you don't think it is. But it's, you know... It's a big enough deal, deal that you changed your name. So... I have a, a niece... Who, uh... Has decided that she wants to be... A he... And uh, she wants to be called Oliver now. She's only, she's only thirteen. And I said no. I was like, no, I'm not gonna call her Oliver. <coughs> I'm pretty open-minded. Like, I don't have a problem with with trans people or, you know, uh, any name all of the genders. I don't have a problem with it. I don't care. I'm very open-minded. But for some reason, I don't want to change my niece's name. Like, I don't want to call her something different. And that's very close-minded to me. And I realize the the hypocrisy in that, in those statements. But, um, I don't know. Maybe if, if she makes that, like, her thing for a while and it's not just a phase, I'll support that. But she's 13. So, like, at what point do you decide, yeah, you can change your name? Like, I would say 18. 18, you're an adult. You can make your decision. If that's what you want to be, that's cool. But it's funny. Here I am, like, your name changes uh, your choice. My niece's isn't. I can call her whatever I want, and I'm going to.
gosh. You're making me hit the hard subjects here on our Wednesday stream. Alright, I didn't use all of my mana. Let's go kill something else. Alright, let's kill this weaver real quick. Yeah, I know it's not the same, but it kind of is. It's a name change. I mean, hers has a lot more behind it than just a name change, but... I'm a very do-what-you-want kind of person. As long as you don't hurt other people, I don't give a shit what you do. As long as you can be happy and not hurt other people, be be you. Do your thing. Except if you're my niece. Except if you're my niece. You can't you can't be your own person then. You know. I'm waiting for the debuff to run off so I can heal. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I don't know why. Just had a long day. There's a guy in my link shell right now who has asked for damage dealers like eight times tonight, and I have said I would come every single time, and he said no. Every single time. And it's because of my level, but my level's not really too low at the end of the day. I disagree with him. We're having guild drama here. It's a real problem. Justice for Briak. Justice for me. That's what I need. Justice for Oliver. 900 more experience. We're not going to hit 11 tonight, by the way. I'm going to pass out well before we hit level 11. I, I, and I'm not shitting you. I'm probably going to go for about eight more minutes and then say, okay, it's ten. I started streaming an hour and a half ago. I haven't even put in a full night. Here we go. Mana up. Let's go. Um, in all seriousness, I think... Yeah, I have. I have. I think um, I've had some busy work days, too. I've had, um, like, meetings from, like, 8, 8 a.m. to, like, 6 p.m. straight every night. And then I have the estimates at night. It just has not been a relaxing week without my, my family. I thought it would be... Uh, a little more laid back. I've just been so busy, I haven't had time to just sit around. I mean, other than streaming, which where I do nothing but sit around. I think Friday will be the last night I stream 11, though. I'll play it off stream and then I'll be playing some other games again. I'm actually thinking about playing uh, maybe Diablo 3 on stream this weekend. A little random. Not a Steam game, but, uh... Oh, I just wasted mana. Uh, but they have a new season starting in Diablo. I think that'd be fun. I'm kind of questioning how many people would watch me play Diablo. It's not really that fun of a game to watch, but I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun for me. So hopefully that'd be fun for everybody else.
Do you have a one bedroom apartment? That's a creepy question. Do you have a an apartment where you don't have a roommate? No, that's that's creepier. Um, do you live alone? Yeah, I, I'm gonna be playing on PC. I can send you my battle net if you're interested in playing. I think I asked you last night. I was serious. Excuse me. I know you're moving, but I was just asking because of that, not because of the creepiness. There's not a good way to ask that as a guy. Like, hey, uh, I know you're a female, but do you live alone right now? Or are you in your one bedroom apartment without anybody around? You can't ask that. There's no way to ask that. But I'm asking because of the move, because it'll be quicker to pack up if it's just a one bedroom. Or, you know, do you have help from a roommate? I'm pretty cognizant of the fact that I'm a guy and that I creep women out. I don't know if other people think about that as much as I do. But I... My parents are divorced and I live with my mom, so we I was with a sing, pretty much a single mom. Like, my dad was around, but... Um, I lived with her the most. And, um... So there were always, like, creepy guys around. Like, even our neighbors across the street, there were these old hippies who, like... They didn't do bathtub meth, but they definitely smoked pot every night. And, uh, I mean, they were creepy. They'd come hit on my mom all the time. So I'm always cognizant of that and how I act around women. It doesn't mean I don't say stupid things, but... Uh, I try not to be a creepy guy. It's not intentional when I'm creepy. I should say it that way. I'm not intending to be creepy. Alright, he died. Uh, moving to a small apartment, no roommate. That's great. That's great. I... I have only lived alone for a brief amount of time. A super brief amount of time. And, uh, it was the best. It was absolutely the best. You know, not having to worry about, like, if you leave dishes in the sink or, you know, people coming over, you know, when you're wanting to be left alone. And I just think... I think roommates suck. If you want to leave your cocaine out on the bath uh, counter, you're welcome to do that. Nobody's going to bother you. Does that make you dizzy? When I go in circles like that? It makes me kind of dizzy. I still do it, but... Oh, you have it on the Switch. That's cool. I I, uh, I have played the console version. I have it on Xbox three, or Xbox One. Uh, it's really good. On the console, it's great. They did a really good job with the controls. It actually kind of makes me hate the PC version because they have not upgraded the PC version to use controllers as an option. Which is stupid. There's no reason not to. But yeah, the new season pops out on Friday, I think. So I think I'm going to play it this Saturday. And maybe, I don't know, maybe Friday if we do it on stream. But I'm I'm a little torn on Diablo because I'm not I'm not one of those people who like looks at all the guides to get good at it. I just, you know, every once in a while you want to play an action RPG and I have fun with it. I don't know if you can tell, but my AC finally went off. Thing's so fucking loud. Yeah. Monk is great, too. It's so much fun. But I'm not one of those people who looks up all the strategies, so I don't, like, I don't play it well. I play it because I enjoy it. Here we go. Fishing the Fisher. I feel like it should be Friday already. I guess tomorrow is technically my Friday. 
It's just been that kind of week. I don't usually get worn out with my job. I actually like my job. I like the people I work with. I'm saying that on stream, but it's true. It's it's actually true. I really enjoy the people I work with. They're nice people. My boss is great. I don't think I don't think many people can say they like their boss. But it's been such a busy fucking week. And you know what it is? It's people going out on vacation. Because every time people go on vacation, they go fucking nuts. Everything is busier the week of a holiday. I'm going out next week. We just got to make sure it's all done by tomorrow. This is the slowest kill. Alright, it died. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I am not going to level tonight, because I still have 600 more. Well, maybe. How many kills is that? Like 20? That's about 20 kills. Alright, we're gonna level tonight. And then I will either go craft or log out, depending on how I'm feeling in about 20 minutes. Maybe we'll just log out. I don't know. V, what would you do if I was to log out right now? Who would you go watch? Or what would you do if you're not watching Twitch? Porn? Yeah, I knew, I knew it. I knew it was porn. But other than the porn, what would you do? Yeah, I feel you. All right, well, I'll stay on with you for a couple more minutes, and we'll I'll go to bed. I was gonna say we're gonna go to bed together, but then that sounded wrong too. That's not what I meant. <laughs> uh, no, we'll we'll uh, we'll go to sleep together after this. I um, I definitely at the same time, I could definitely use a night a good night's sleep. You know, if somebody really wanted to, and I know we have, like, clips and stuff from the stream where I say terrible things already, but, like, you could really find something I say that's completely wrong and just clip that one thing. Like, if somebody really wanted to fuck with me, they could do that. I mean, that, I guess that is for anybody. Anybody who's, like, sitting here talking for three hours, you're going to find stuff that they say that's like, All right, I don't know what he was saying. That's fucked up. Can't believe you just said that. Woo! Resting again! Oh, I have D on. I can't. God damn it. We're so much closer to level. Cure. Cure. I imagine that's how my character talks. Cure. He sounds like an idiot. Cure. All right. Let me see here. Taking that out. Alright. I've got my notes from last night with our game drawn up here. 
I shit you not, I am working on that. In all seriousness, that is going to be a real game, and we are going to play it on stream. I wasn't lying. Dicks and Dice is going to be a real thing. It was fun to talk about, it was kind of a joke, but like in six weeks when it shows up, everyone's going to be like, what the fuck is this game? I went into tweet hashtags uh, uh, Twitch last night after we got done, and he's like, oh, guys, Brioch was coming up with this game. You have to hear this. So I'm typing out the rules. Everybody's like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> uh, it sounds stupid, but it's. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I have a very low threshold for what I think is funny. Holy shit, I never realized how bad resting in this game is. I am very impatient. We'll have to get on Discord and do a trial run of it first to make sure it's like we're not missing anything, but I'm going to pop open some rolls in the next week and uh, see if we can get going with it. It's going to be great. I think I mentioned yesterday that I have some friends that they don't know I stream. Um... And I actually told them about that idea for the game. And they came up with some pretty good ideas, so I think we can incorporate a bit. If I'm streaming that, I might actually tell them about it. Because I think they'd uh, get a kick out of that. I feel like I'm leading a double life. Streaming video games at night, nobody knows. Like the Batman of Twitch streamers. Let's go with water. You bitch. I haven't had a single goblin kill itself in the last two or three days. I, well, I'd take that back. I had one earlier. I'm lying. I'm lying. So close. Let's wait for Dia, and then we'll rest. It's like ten years. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the one you need, that's for sure. I love those movies, by the way. The Dark Knight movies, they're so good. Um, I was watching uh, Batman and... It's Batman and Robin, right, with Mr. Freeze. I was watching that last week. Oh, excuse me. Because uh, Joel Schumacher died. The guy who uh, made Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. And uh, I hated those movies when I was a kid, but I kind of liked how cartoony he made the live-action movies. They were just so over the top. He's a crazy bastard. He died, though. Yeah, he was 80. Yeah, I don't know what killed him. Just old age, I guess, at 80. Um, I don't think many people consider 80 old age anymore, but it really it is, you know? Like, after 70, you're technically old. What are you going to watch? I've recommended a few over the last few days. Community was great. That was a good one to binge. Um, actually, you know what I was watching on Netflix? Hold on. let me. I'll pull up my Netflix and tell you. Because I'm bad with names. Really bad with names. And I can't remember anything I talk about. Okay, come on. Uh, so Altered Carbon was good. If you like an action movie that was, or an action show, that was good. Um, Kung Fu Hustle is on there, which I fucking love. I absolutely love Kung Fu Hustle. Uh, 
I don't know. What are you in the mood for? I'm gonna make. I'll make a recommendation based on what you're in the mood for. You don't have to take it, but I'll make a recommendation anyway. Just throw out a genre. See, I have Amazon Prime too, and I, you know, I think Amazon Prime is sorely underrated. Some of the shows they make are really good, um, and uh, they have a lot of great older movies on there. They get, I guess, they get the licensing for pretty cheap because they're older. So you can find some real gems on Amazon Prime. Actually, before you joined, I was talking about one from the '80s called Beastmaster, which is like. It's kind of like Conan the Barbarian, but it's not. It's like they took a less ripped Arnold Schwarzenegger lookalike to be the Beastmaster. And he has sex with all these women, and then he has, like, animals that follow him around. It's kind of a strange movie. Horror. Wow. Wow. You know what I could go for? A good dose of terror. That would make my night better. Really? I'm going to tell you something, though, about me. Uh, when I was younger, I don't like being scared. I don't like uh, scary games, like jump scare stuff. But I actually really like suspenseful horror movies. And when I was younger, I really had a thing for Wes Craven. And so I love the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Um, and I love Scream, the movie Scream. And I would come home from school and I'd watch that every single day. I love that movie so much. It was just such a good movie. All right, let me find a horror movie for you. Hold on. Let's see, what would, let me rest. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna rest while we look, let's see. I'll just put in horror as the genre. You know, Netflix kind of sucks as far as movies go, in my opinion, because they don't, they don't get a lot of good licenses, you know? Uh, okay. This one's not too frightening. It's not too scary. But have you ever seen The Witch? You have Amazon Prime? If you do, that would change things. But The Witch was good, and that's on Netflix. Um, I swear to God, I've gone through, like, a whole page of movies, and I can't find anything that I like on here for horror. Uh, Bird Box is okay. If you haven't seen that one, it's got Sandra Bullock. That was okay. I liked that movie, but it wasn't great. It was just okay. So that's two on Netflix. Um, Bird Box and The Witch. Obviously, Stranger Things is kind of suspenseful, but it's not really a horror movie. I love Stranger Things, though. Yeah, okay, so, like, I typed in horror as the genre, and don't mess with the Zohan comes up in the horror. Like, I fucking hate Netflix, man. Uh, Train to Busan was good. If you haven't seen Train to Busan, that was a good one. It's about zombies. Oh! Got one. Got one for you. I've got two, actually. Here's what you get to pick from. Uh, before I before I say this, let me check and see if one other one's here, because there's one I really like. No, okay. Alright, so you get you get three choices. Three choices. From Netflix. Uh The Evil Dead. Evil Dead is an eighties flick. And it's got, uh, <laughs> such a good movie. It's got Bruce Campbell and it's about these teenagers who stop at this remote cabin and the teens start turning into ghouls and attacking each other. Not zombies per se, but ghouls. 
The Evil Dead is a trilogy. It's Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, and then Army of Darkness. Evil Dead is the most like a horror movie of the three. Army of Darkness is my favorite, though. And the thing is, and the reason I like it, is the same reason I like Scream. It's almost satirical in of, of itself. Like, it's, it's a satire about horror movies, basically. So Army of Darkness is phenomenal. Like, it was a great movie, but it's not on Netflix. So if you were to watch one of the three, I would say Army of Darkness. But if you're just talking about Netflix movies, I would pick Evil Dead any day of the week. It's a great movie. The second movie that I would pick that's on Netflix, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Same premise. A bunch of teenagers come up to a cabin in the woods. The difference is that these two rednecks have gone up to the woods to fix up a cabin they just bought. And the teenagers think that these two guys are killers. It's a fantastic take on horror movies. It's comedic. It's it's funny at parts, but it's also a serious like horror movie. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's not a it's not a serious horror movie, but it is a take on horror movies. It's a satire of horror movies. So, Evil Dead 1 would be one of the two. Tucker and Dale versus Evil would be the second. Both are equally good. I would say if you're Really wanting something suspenseful, I'd go with Evil Dead, though. Now let's look at Amazon, because I'll give you some ideas on there, too. Because I think Amazon's got better movies. Alright, let's type in horror. Let's get an idea for horror movies in Prime Video. Oh. Alright. So, automatically you get better movies on, on this, but the interface is shit, so it's harder to tell what they have. Here, I'll just back out. Let me... All right. Easy one. Easy one. Amazon Prime has A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place was a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen A Quiet Place, go watch that. It's suspenseful. It's good. It actually reminds me of The Evil Dead a lot. I can talk about why once you've seen both of them. But uh, A Quiet Place is a fantastic movie. Um, Friday the 13th is also on Amazon Prime. Friday the 13th was a great movie. I don't have like a horror section on here, so I'm just trying to scroll through. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Pet Cemetery. If you've never seen that, Stephen King's classics, Pet Cemetery, is on Amazon Prime. That was a great movie. Uh, and it's it's included with Prime, so Pet Cemetery is a great one. All right, hold on, I'll give you another suggestion or two. I love Pet Cemetery too, so I would say that's a great one. I wonder if Maximum Overdrive is on there. If it is, you should watch Maximum Overdrive. Uh, this Pet Cemetery is actually the remake, though. It's from 2019. It's not the original. The original was better. And yes, I've seen both, which I don't know what that says about me as a person. Like, why do you need to see both Pet Cemeteries? Odd Thomas was good. Odd Thomas was actually a great movie. What, what is wrong with me? Why do I watch all of these horror movies? Like, I've seen a lot of these. One that I have on my list that I haven't watched is Velocipaster. 
After losing his parents, a priest travels to China where he inherits a mysterious ability that allows him to turn into a dinosaur. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, what Lies Beneath was good. That one's got uh, Harrison Ford in it. That was actually a really suspenseful movie, too. Well, I guess that's a good start. That's enough movies. You know, the problem is, if I was to tell you movies to watch, I'd end up going on, like, a movie binge, too. Because I... Um, I'm a big fan of horror movies. I, I love... I was talking about M. Night Shyamalan the other night. But I love The Sixth Sense. That one still gives me chills every time I watch it. And I'm not, like, a get-chill kind of person. But I... I love that. The streaming on Amazon Prime is fantastic. Like, the the user interface sucks. It really does. But the movies they have are crazy good. And they've got a shit ton of them. And they have original content. Some of their original shows are amazing. The Man in the High Castle was a good one. I love that one. Um, they just, they have a ton. But it's, it's not Netflix. It's like, it comes to your Amazon subscription. So like, most people don't use it. I would get rid of Netflix if my wife would let me. Because I don't watch it anymore. I watch it for Stranger Things and I can just get Stranger Things once a year, you know? Um, I'm actually going to get Disney Plus this week because uh, she wants to watch Hamilton. So I'm going to pick up Disney Plus. But, uh, I don't know if there's anything else on Disney Plus I really want to watch. I watched The Mandalorian on there when it first came out. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I, don't, I think I watch Netflix like once every six months. I'll binge a couple of things and then I stop watching it. Like, I binged Community on there. And Community was great, but I haven't watched Community or, or anything since Community. Alright, we are almost to 11. Yeah, Hamilton comes out on Friday. So we're going to get it and watch it. I'm not a big fan of musicals, but I feel like that's one that I have to watch because everybody talks about it all the time. And, you know, I've seen... I've heard some of the songs from the damn thing. I just don't get it. I don't get the fascination with it. I, I've watched, like, Phantom of the Opera. I watch Cats. I just don't... I don't get it. That's... Oh, you know what I watched that I really enjoyed, though? Oh, let me tell you this one. Um... Fuck. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Go watch Mr. Right. It's on Netflix. That was a good movie. I really enjoyed that one. Not... It's like a... B-minus movie. Like, it's not a great movie. But it's about this chick who... Uh, her boyfriend, like, dumps her or cheats on her. And she's just having a rough go at life. And she meets this guy who's, like, a contract killer. And they fall in love. And that's the whole premise of the movie that you need to know to watch that movie. It's it's really good. I really enjoyed Mr. Right. Not a great movie, but it was good. It was fun. I really liked it. It has um I don't know the girl's name. And that's, I, I, again, I'm bad with names, so I can't remember the girl's name. But she's the brunette with, like, the kind of big nose, but she's still cute and people like her for some reason. I don't know. She was in Glee, I think. I think that's why people are like her. Now I'm going to Google that because I sound like a dick for not knowing her name. Let's see. All right, Mr. Wright. 
Anna Kendrick. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Anna Kendrick and Sam Rockwell's in it. Anna Kendrick's... Yeah, she's... Anna Kendrick's okay. I mean, she's... I like her in a couple of things. She was in that Santa movie at Christmas on Netflix. That was pretty good. That had, uh... Oh, fuck. Why am I forgetting everybody's name? Uh, the dude who's in Barry. The... The comedian from SNL. Fuck. Anyway. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. It was very tongue-in-cheek kind of comedy. Like, it was... It's exactly what you'd expect from that kind of movie, but it was fun. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of like specific actors and actresses. There's very few actors and actresses where I'm like that dude is a fucking great actor. Like he cuz you know, it's I don't know. I still see them as the characters, but there's a few actors I think of as amazing who I really am a fan of and and I'd say I'm a fan of hers. I think she's good. Can't remember her name, but I think she's great. die if I pull these. Can't die now. We're too close. We're 170 away. I'm not going to pull the goblins. They're too close together. We'll kill one of these river crabs. Let's rest again. Thank you, Black Mage. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, I kind of feel like she's typecast. She plays like the cutie, somewhat like aloof actress in every movie. Like she was the same way in that Santa Claus movie. Um... I think she does a good job with it. Like, it's fine. But, I don't know. If I was to name, like, an amazing... So, Adam Driver. I think Adam Driver is a great actor. You know, he was Kylo Ren, but I think he's a fantastic actor. I've seen him in a couple of things. I think he's great. Um, I think uh, Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe, I think he's a great actor. He's been in some really good movies over the last, you know, indie stuff that's weird, but. Oh, I didn't know she was in Into the Woods. I haven't seen that one yet. Let's, I'm going to try to pull these guys. I'll try to pull one at a time here. I think End of the Woods is on Amazon Prime. I know I'm advertising heavily for them right now, but you can watch. I think End of the Woods is on there. Come on. If I could get off one spell, there we go. You had, you didn't have internet for five years. When uh when I was growing up. Back in the old days when I was growing up. But no, when I was growing up, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have cable. And um, all of my uh, my friends had it, but I didn't. And uh, 
When I moved out, the first thing I did was buy internet. I got dial-up internet. Uh, and I was psyched about it. I was so happy to have internet. Um, and I, I can't imagine going five years without it again. Like, you must really live life without internet, you know? Look at how blue the sky is today! You know, I just stuff like that. Like, without the internet, you get to do stuff like that. I want to ask you more because I'm intrigued by you not having the internet, but I also think that could be a personal thing. Like, you know... I was eating dirt. We were poor. I couldn't afford the internet. What the hell? Oh, my phone alarm's going off. It's my note to self to uh, go the fuck to sleep. I've got one more kill here, and we, we're going to level, and we'll call it a night. Why does resting take so long? Whoop, Discord! Here we go. When I was in college, I bought a whole shit ton of DVDs. And I put them all on a credit card. But I had, like, every movie that came out for, like, two years. And then I owed a shit ton of money on a credit card. That's the end of the story. It's not really exciting. Oof. That's expensive. That sucks. Level up! We made it! We made it! We're level 11! This is fantastic. All right. Let's go back to town. Uh, yeah, you know, I... That's the thing, is, like, when I didn't have the internet, I played a lot of RPGs. That's actually why I like Final Fantasy so much. Um, you know, even before Eleven, And this is the first online game I played, so, you know... Take that for what it's worth, but... I played all of the Final Fantasies multiple times. Had a blast with it. Had a blast with all of those games. Okay, well, we're gonna call it a night, because I'm tired now. Um, hey, oh, almost went with the wrong name. V, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, it's been a kind of slow night in here, and I've actually enjoyed that. I've enjoyed just hanging out with you. Um, I will be back on Friday. I will be on Discord if you want to chat, but I'm gonna call it a night tonight. And, uh... Friday, uh, this will be the last night. Friday will be the last night I play this. And then I'll get into something else, so. Um, I'm not gonna raid anybody. It's just us. So, have a good night. I will catch you, uh, later, okay? See ya.